Okay guys, so this is my suitcase. I kind of started getting it all packed up. Let me tilt you down a little bit. But I have five little sun shirts that will keep me protected from the sun. I have some really cute little, like this one says Nevada and then it has Nevada on the sleeve. I don't know if you can see that but these will protect me from the sun and they're lightweight they're like sport t-shirts so i'm gonna wear these a majority of the trip so i have my shirts i have a pair of leggings just for comfy i have a pair of joggers right here that i can wear to bed and i need a couple comfy shirts okay so i have two comfy shirts right here to wear to bed and then i always sleep with a pair of fuzzy socks on because my feet are always really cold and then i have underwear sports bras bras and then i'm gonna put my socks in so i have a bunch of socks right here I have my hiking socks, which are like better, thicker socks that I have that I can wear with my hiking boots. I always bring a travel mirror just because it's easier, it's lightweight. If it gets broken, it doesn't matter and it's plastic. So I'm gonna put that in. So when you're doing field work, um, I'm gonna be in the mountains, in the dirt. So I'm gonna get really dirty. So I have to change my jeans every single day. So I pack a new pair every day. So I have four pairs right here and then I'll wear one pair out. So I'll have five jeans total. So I'm gonna fold these up and put these in my suitcase. I need to grab two more pairs of jeans. One, two, three, four. Yeah, two more pairs. One to wear out and one to pack. And then for my matcha, I'm gonna bring this bottle because it'll be easier to carry. This is a thermo flask. My sister got it for me, but it has a little spout and you just take it off. You unscrew it and it holds hot and cold things really well. So um, if I want a hot matcha, I can bring this or cold matcha with ice, I can bring that too. But I can just like clip this to my backpack and drink it on the go. And then I also like that it has a locking mechanism so it won't open. Okay, so now I wanted to show you guys this hot mess of a pile of all my toiletries and stuff that um, I need to bring. I'm bringing little towelettes to wash my hands off because they're gonna be dusty and sweaty and gross. So I'm gonna put this in my backpack also if I need to like wipe my face because I'll have to wear my helmet on the quad um, so I could get dusty. So I'm gonna put those in my backpack. These are going to go with my micellar water. I should just dump this all out and repack it, honestly. What a hot mess. What a hot mess. Okay, so I got a little package of panty liners from the dollar store. So, and I feel like these are always really important to have. It's just like good protection. And also, I'm supposed to start my period at the very end of the week when we're done. So hopefully it doesn't start early. But I'm going to put a couple of those with my backpack and I'll put the rest with my toiletries. And then so here's my bag. I call them gingy drops. They're for upset stomach or nausea or anything like that. And I have all my pills, my cholesterol medicine, vitamin D, vitamin B6, um, allergy pill. These are calm gummies and ashwagandha gummies to help me fall asleep. Um, and then I have some Advil and some Tylenol and i have some anxiety medication right here um just in case i need it hoping that i won't need to take it but just in case i need it then i have it i have really really bad anxiety so i kind of have to prepare for the worst but hope for the best in this scenario so i need to make sure i have everything on me oh i could probably put my inhaler in there too just in case i like to carry that too here's my cellar water i love this bliss sunscreen i'm sure you guys all know this is a brand new package i'm gonna put this in there um i plan to do like minimal makeup because i'm gonna be wearing a helmet but i do want to put a ton of sunscreen on so i don't get burnt i have shampoo conditioner cold cream toothpaste razor toothbrush scrunchies bobby pins i'm gonna have to wear my hair in a low pony or a low bun because i'm gonna be wearing my helmet so i'll put this in there i put it in a ziploc bag just in case something you know decides to explode then it doesn't get everywhere plus it kind of like keeps it together this is my favorite soap i've been using it ever since i was a kid and it just is like doesn't break me out or anything so i just went to the dollar store i'm actually gonna insert the footage of me getting everything
have Aquaphor for chapped lips at night. This is the same bottle that I've used since I was on Accutane. Um, my hair is like naturally really frizzy, so I'm gonna bring this gel for my hair and just use a teeny bit for maybe like my hairline. My brush I'll put in my suitcase. So I decided to put all of my makeup in just like a little Ziploc bag so I can keep it all together. I think that would be best. I have this CeraVe. I'm gonna keep on testing it out while I'm out there. That's actually what I'm wearing right now. I just put a little bit of concealer under my eyes and my nose, my chin, and my forehead, just a little bit. This is the Maybelline Age for wind eraser so I'm gonna put that in there just in case I need to set my face I have the fit me powder the mascara I really like this essence it's the I heart extreme volume mascara I really like this one let me show you guys I like mascaras with really thick and wide bristles and then chapstick then right now I'm actually wearing this liquid blush this is the revolution super dewy liquid blush so I'm wearing that right now I really like the color so I'm gonna put this in this is the essence hello good stuff depuff eye serum when I'm real tired and when we're like when we've been doing field work for 50 hours and it's been a long long week I'm gonna need this because my eyes are going to look sunken in because I'm gonna be so tired so um, I'm gonna bring this my eyebrow gel I've been really liking this my favorite eyebrow gel is the benefit one it's clear this is a clear brow gel too um, but I wanted like a drugstore version so it would be a little bit cheaper so this is what it's looking like right now and then just one little brush because I don't need anything else and and I have little cotton pads for the micellar water where I can just like take off extra mascara. Oh, and then I forgot to pack in my other bag. This is the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. It's just like a thick cream. It's unscented. This is what I use during Accutane and this helps me not crack and bleed because my skin was so dry and I really like it. I have a little like travel size. So this is what I'm going to wear at nighttime. And also like when you're in the field or in the sun, it's dirty or sweating. Like you can get dehydrated quickly and stuff. So I think it's really important to have have a good skincare at night that I can put on in the hotel and so my skin will be hydrated. I got a couple of these little one-time use makeup sponges. I have regular sponges but I'd rather just use these and then just get rid of them once I'm done. Okay so here's what my little makeup bag looks like. And here's my little travel bag. One thing I cannot forget is the odorant. And then we need to pack my food. Hey guys, sorry if you can hear the dryer in the background, but I'm trying to do a load of laundry right now. So a majority of my meals I'm going to have to eat out in the field. So to start with, I have my Sam's Club almond milk. I'm going to make in this little measuring cup with the agave nectar. I have a little tablespoon matcha powder and an electric whisk. And then moving on to breakfast. I have um, five portions. I have eggs and carrots for breakfast, along with these Dave's Killer Bread Bagel. And these are like the, the raisin ones. For snack, we have this Old Trapper Peppered Beef Jerky. The reason I picked this one is because it doesn't have soy in it. A lot of beef jerky does have soybean oil in it, so this one doesn't. I'll probably have a banana with breakfast. Moving on to lunch, I'm going to make chicken wraps. So here's my tortillas. I'm gonna bring this whole pack. And I have pre-portioned onion and lettuce. And then these are a serving of chicken, so I have five portions of that. I have these little guacamole cups, and I got them from Sam's Club, and they don't have soybean oil in them. So that's why I picked them, so I can put those on my wraps. Um, and then little cherry tomatoes to snack on. The times that we're in the field for dinner, I'm gonna make these frozen turkey burgers. We have a little propane grill out there. And then I'm gonna put it on these day killer bread bagels. They're just like everything bagels. So, and then I have little ketchup packets that I'm gonna bring. And then I wanted to show you guys, so I got these Siete chips at Sam's Club. So I'm gonna snack on those with my guacamole. And then I have protein drinks and then I have a ton of water and we're trying to figure out the cooler situation. Um, this would be nice because it's smaller. However, the Yetis are very heavy, so I don't know how I feel about carrying this because I would have to carry it from the work truck to my hotel room every night. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it is kind of heavy, so that's something to consider. And then I kind of wanted to bring this one to put drinks and my luncheon. 
but we're just trying to figure out how I'm gonna fit all of this right now. Okay, so I got everything in the Yeti. I don't know if I'll have a fridge in my hotel room. Hopefully I will because then I can unload all this stuff, but I got everything in there and then maybe I should just bring this for like my lunchbox cooler and my drink cooler. I'm not really sure, so trying to figure that out right now. Look down below you. Ah. So cute. Okay guys, this is my second room that I'm staying in. Got a microwave and a fridge. Okay, okay. Got a little coat rack, a bench the bathroom let's turn the light on where is the light we can't find the light here's the light wow pretty cool here's the bed got some modern artwork if you will this is where i'll be doing my makeup here's a lounge chair and a table and the TV. Woohoo! And a full length mirror. Like, I'll show you the overview. Yay! Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you guys my makeup routine while I am in the field doing work and riding a quad. So, I can't put on a ton of makeup, but I wanted to show you guys what I do. And I'm freaking exhausted right now, so don't mind my puffy face. We are gonna start out with our usual the eyebrow gel. Let's do that real quick. Also, I'm running very late, so I kind of need to hurry. Also, I have this cut on my nose. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have this cut on my nose, and I think I got attacked by a willow yesterday, and that's why I have a cut, but I woke up this morning and it was scabbed over, so that's not good. And then because my eyes are so puffy, I'm gonna use this Deep Puff Eye Serum. I was looking a lot more rough when I first woke up. I've already done 40 hours for the week and it's wet, well, it, that was Wednesday, that was yesterday. Today it's Thursday, so. We have a whole day today and a whole day tomorrow. Or, I probably already showed you guys, but I was in Jackpot, Nevada and they didn't have any coffee shops or anything so i made matcha in the room which isn't a big deal but because we're in elko now we are able to go to starbucks which i'm so excited for i think i'm gonna get a hot matcha there and i'm gonna get like a little treat of some sort i really like the vanilla bean scones i really like the lemon loaf too i made a matcha in my room today and it did not turn out very good but I'll drink it, it's caffeine. I think I made it too watery. Now I'm gonna be using the CeraVe tinted sunscreen. And so I don't wear a full coverage foundation in the field because I'm taking my helmet on and off. So it's, there's really no point, but I do want some protection and a little bit of tint. So I'm gonna be using this. And I'm gonna take a hefty amount. I'm gonna glob it on. That's probably like the first round. And then dot it around, give it a nice, Robin, I had a little bit of a breakout this morning. I probably just forgot to get some dirt or something. Or literally, I started my period too yesterday, which is like the most inopportune time because I'm out in the field. So I have to like somehow figure out how to change a tampon in the field. Like just not ideal. I can do it, but it's not ideal. You know, there's no bathrooms. And like it's day one, day two. So it's like, I'm really bleeding like really bleeding heavy. 
And I'm gonna bring it all the way down my neck so I'm covered. See, it did give me a tint of coverage, so that's nice. Okay guys, so I put a hefty layer of sunscreen for my forehead all the way down the base of my neck. My shirt is gonna be like this, so it should cover. Let's put on some chapstick because my lips are literally shriveled up and dead. I brought these little like one-time use um, makeup sponges just so I can like throw them away and I don't need anything fancy because I'm literally just putting concealer powder and um, liquid blush so our next step I'm gonna use this Maybelline age rewind concealer and I'm just gonna go down the bridge of my nose under my eyes anywhere where there shouldn't be red which I got some burn yesterday so there's a lot of red go like that and this isn't like the fullest coverage foundation and it blends pretty naturally. So I'm gonna blend this in with my little sponge. And see how it just gives me like a wash of color but it's not full coverage. Cause again, I have to put my helmet on, take my helmet off, put it on, take it off, so. Well, that scar is not getting covered very well, or that. But we were driving through a ton of willow yesterday and they're like hitting me in the face and you try to move them but they just get in the way okay so now we are going to do a little bit of liquid blush just to kind of like give my face some shape and color and i swear i look crazy right now but it's gonna look decent after i'm done i didn't say it's gonna look good it's gonna look decent oh this is the um revolution brand liquid blush and this is the color t239 like i literally have the tiniest dot on my hand see how it's like giving my face some color and some shape and then i'm gonna bring it up here now we're going to take our little cosmetic wedge and i'm just gonna like dip it i barely had any left of this powder so i just brought it to get rid of it um but i like the fit me brand and i'm just gonna set my face and i'm literally just gonna put it on like this set under the eyes and then go here wherever i put concealer i'm gonna set it see it's just literally giving me the tiniest bit of coverage i'm gonna put on like just quick little coats of mascara okay guys so this is basically the look it's just pretty natural and then i just literally added some mascara and that's it i'm gonna um do some tinted chapstick from burt's bees just another layer of protection gives like a nice wash of color and shine and that's it when i'm in the field let me show you guys go right here i'm in my hotel room see you can see like my freckles and stuff like that you know had i not gone on accutane i would have never gone out like this i would have never gone like this natural or like i would have put on way more makeup but i feel comfortable enough to do it now so it's really nice so I really have to get ready, but thank you guys for watching my makeup routine and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Bye guys. I know.